Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So there are two types of people out there. One who owns a mobile phone. Second, Luke Smith. Okay. So in case if you are category one, you might also have a number. And in your phones, we have like a contact list, which is basically the numbers of your friends and everyone. And there are lots of number in that contact list. And some people I see, they don't have that well organized, which is fine because it's phone. And most of the time we save the number in when we are in hurry. And this is okay. You don't save it properly. But here is something which you can do to make your life a little bit organized and better for you. So the first thing is that, uh, you know, save everyone's number, no matter who it is. Like I had contact number of every person I once talked in my college. Okay. So I had actually everybody's number. I, I had, I got the access of one database where, you know, I found like, okay, they had the, the API open in their website. So I just scraped it. But the thing is that you might uh, don't get number of everybody, but try to get as many numbers as you can. Like if you're in college, just try to get everyone's number because it's good. It's good. You should have it. All right. So when you have all these numbers and uh, you don't know where it is most of the people i see they sometimes save the number in google contacts they sometimes save it on their sim card they sometimes save it on your phone and in the old days we don't uh, we never had like android so you know we used to save the contacts in our phones and when we switch uh, to the modern smartphones we still have a lot of numbers in our phones and this is not good because when we lost the phone we you know lost numbers and you might think that google is a good solution google context and it is actually good um i mean not but all i'm saying is like it is good but if if you have all the contacts in one place okay and the issue is people don't have all the contacts in one place and even if you have all the contacts in one place the issue is that you don't know like you get confused like for example i know two people with the same name and sometimes i get confused uh, whose number is this okay so you should also have some attached information like whose number is this so the very simple solution is of this problem and it's a very genius solution okay just use a fucking plain text file okay for god's sake please okay just do it so let me show you how it's not a troll video by the way i'm going to give you some nice tips like how i do it so first of all um just every month you know update this context file okay all right i'm saying okay a lot so name full name and then number so this is basically how we are going to do it so for example ls now in this example i'm not going to write the full name but so you don't really need to type this, um, you know, country code, but in case if you have like foreigners contact, then it's fine. Or in future you might get its choice. Okay. It's just your choice. So let's just write one number and this is a number, 10 digit number and uh, just add like distro tube and what else? XDSL, BFs, XDSL, is it right? Uh, tech hurt all right what else i can type like um, uh, ariana miley okay so these are some numbers okay ten, uh, seven numbers let's quickly add some more george um sheldon why um mikasa okay 10 all right that's enough so these are 10 numbers which i saved uh let's just give it a file name text.txt what's the issue file already exists all right uh yeah i want to delete that file where uh okay context.txt all right so i got one file where i have all these numbers and i can access it pretty nicely like for example okay this video is not about just accessing it i'm also going to show you one some more things so for example, this is my context.txt and I also got this context. So let me delete this context. I don't need this. I accidentally created this. So get context.txt and I can just pipe it into fuzzy finder and I can just search any number like my entrance enter and I get the number. So you can just have like uh, thousands of number and we can work with this pretty easily. So cut hyphen D comma and field one so this is a delimiter we have a comma separated you know 
so field one is like f1 and press enter okay this is field one i accidentally okay so this is going to give us a name we want the you know field two actually so george and now we are getting the number and we can pipe it into x clip collection c so shell done and now it's in our clipboard how cool is that now this is good we have a number properly you know said uh, let's do one thing we can also sort the context okay it's clean so context just delete context and rename this okay so now this is sorted all right this is a sorted file sorted version so don't forget to sort it because it's cleaner now what i can do is i can add some text here for example school tag and what else i can enter and don't worry to you know don't think like it's going to uh it's not look clean or something because we can always use cut command to get whatever the field we want so don't worry about it we can easily remove it make another file uh so it's like a txt database now so school so because i met alice at school and she she's also my friend so i'm also going to add friend tag so this is like some tags which i can give so arena ariana is uh, from my school but she's not my friend so i'm not going to add this tag and this studio is like a you know colleague okay so it's like a colleague uh, work partner or whatever the tag it doesn't matter like you can just add, add work george is like family and you can uh, add cousin and hex deal is like okay work so work or if you you know uh, work in some company you can add so just add whatever like text you want to it's going to help you uh, to recognize where this person from you can also add like city uh, so these are like tags so all right so let's just continue so it's like work youtube and mikasa is like um a okay, college friend all right so this is just from college not friend uh college and sheldon is like uh, okay i met in some place like a childhood friend and uh, just um uh, some worker in my house like plumber not plumber um emergency emergency contact all right so you can also uh, add something like uh, uh, father okay yeah you should type your father's name instead of this so father and emergency or family or emergency okay so that's good now we can use this instead of what we were doing before get fcf so we if i type family i just get all the family tags basically that's good all right and if i type work i get work related so this is how uh, you can just create your context.txt and uh, now one thing is that you should back this up multiple places because this is actually the main idea like you don't want to lose it so if you have a gpg key first of all if you don't have just type gpg full gen key um type rsa the algorithm and just give it a default or just give it uh, like whatever the bits uh, I want uh, 4096 bits and then expiry registration date. Don't care about this. Is this correct? Yes. Real name. Just imagine some name, something like uh, Wiki. All right. Have I typed Wiki? Uh, name must be at least five character. Okay. Cool. Uh, Rahul. All right. Email address Rahul at the rate uh, boxwriter.com and comment is um a test gpg key so i'm making a gpg key just press o enter and just enter some passphrase for your private key all right so you this password is basically for your private key okay and now it's going to get created just wait a second um let's just do something so all right it's it, it's done okay so if i type gpg list keys now I'm going to see two keys okay so one is actually my key which i'm not going to show you uh and the second is this thing all right this is another key so i'm going to use this key in order to encrypt this file context.txt so gpg encrypt 
and there is one more uh, parameter which is armor which is basically encrypt with a human readable format so by default when you encrypt it it just gives you some you know bits like bytes all right and you do want some sky like some something human readable so armor is going to do that thing r for uh, you know defining uh, the key so i have two keys so i want to encrypt with this key and then context.txt press enter and now we got this context.txt.asc and i can get this out asc and this is basically my context but as you can see it, it makes no sense all right and the only way in this entire world to decrypt is is with this key jpg this keys okay this key and i have the private key so jpg export secret key armor obviously uh, and uh, just give the ip address so as you can see i have this private key never show this private key i'm showing you because it doesn't matter it's just a sample but never show this all right and this is the way to export this private key by the way and you can also export the just remove the secret key and this is how you can export the public key okay now this is just printing you can also use this hyphen o and then hyphen o and then private oh, sorry public dot txt to put it in this public dot txt or you can just you know redirect it normally by the command line way so I can delete this context.txt now because I got this ASC file and I can just move it or sync it into my server. So root at bugswriter.com and uh, root. So just R sync this and voila, you can also, you know, back it up on your, you know, Google Drive or, you know, keep updating it after some time, after like every year once, it doesn't matter. So this is good, this is better because now you're not going to lose any number. Also, it's better filtering. You can have this file uh, unencrypted on your computer, it's fine. So that's the video, it's a, it's a nice tip, like most people don't do it. So this is why I made this video, okay, thanks for watching.